So who is a cardinal? The word cardinal has a very Latin origin which among scholars there is a disagreement. The word cardinal comes from the Latin word cardinalis which comes from cardo meaning a hinge or a pivot. So a cardinal is a priest or a bishop who is called and even named by the Pope to what is known to be a sacred college of cardinals. And this naming, this elevation by the, the Pope becomes an official duty for the bishop, the priest, who is called to this ecclesiastical title, cardinal. So it means a pivot or a hinge. So when somebody is called and named by the Pope as a cardinal, he becomes a counselor, a pivot of the church. What are some of the duties of a cardinal? Essentially, there are two duties of a cardinal. One, they assist the Pope in the governance of the church worldwide. So a cardinal becomes an official of the Pope. And chiefly, one of their tasks or duty is to elect a new Pope with whom they will serve. So cardinals are officials of, of the Pope, the church. And just as their origin, the word means cardo, cardinalis, meaning pivot or hinge. They are key pivotal counselors to the Pope. And they help the Pope in the governance of the church. And also when there is a vacancy, they elect a new Pope with whom they will serve. Why are cardinals called princes of the church? According to ancient customs, cardinals are called princes of the church because of their diplomatic status which their position gives them. These are officials of the church and in the ancient times they had diplomatic statuses which they have with their position and also in the ancient time cardinals were from royal and noble families hence they were called princes of the church but today we know that cardinals although they have that official diplomatic status most of them are from humble origins humble beginnings Yes, they are called princes of the church because of the ancient custom of their diplomatic status that comes with their position. Even today, cardinals have diplomatic statuses and this comes immediately with their position. They are officials of the church. They are the princes of the church. Do cardinals possess spiritual authority over bishops? <laughs> this is one of the misunderstandings and misconceptions some people have about cardinals. Some say that they have spiritual authority over the bishops. But this is not true. The ecclesiastical title of a cardinal is not a sacramental one. It was not instituted by Jesus Christ. The title, the ecclesiastical title of a cardinal was an institution by popes to allow people who can serve them in their governance and in electing new Roman pontiffs. So sometimes people having this misconception comes into play when they say that cardinals have spiritual authorities over the bishops you know in the catholic church the sacrament of holy orders has three degrees the diaconate the presbyterate and the episcopate but the cardinalate 
is a rank, a hierarchy which a pope gives to a man, a priest or a bishop in order to serve in the church. So, cardinals do not have any spiritual powers that are more than bishops. The bishop is a degree of the sacrament of holy orders. But a cardinal is somebody who is called a cardinal becomes only an official of the church who assists the Pope in governance and in electing a new Roman pontiff. So do not misunderstand the hierarchy of the church. A lot of people do this and they think that the cardinal is over and above the bishop in spiritual matters. Sometimes people misunderstood the hierarchy between the cardinal and the bishop. How many kinds or types of cardinals do we have? According to the history of the church, for many centuries, laymen were also made cardinals in the church. But the 1917 church law abolished laymen becoming cardinals. And for the 1917 church law, for a cardinal, a man must be a priest of outstanding learning piety, judgment, and ability. And in the year 1962, Pope John XXIII gave a structural meaning to the order of, of cardinals. And he says that for someone to become a cardinal, he must be consecrated a bishop before he is given this title. But if the person is already a bishop, then he may not be consecrated but if the person is not a bishop he must be consecrated first as a bishop before having this honor or rank as a cardinal but when we look into church history pope arban the second from 1088 to 1099 gave a structural of the three kinds of cardinals that we have today the cardinal bishops, the cardinal priests, and the cardinal deacons. So who is a cardinal bishop? For the cardinal bishops, they are the cardinals who have their dioceses neighboring Rome. So they call these dioceses the sub obicarian dioceses or sees of neighboring Rome. They have their dioceses within Rome, and these are six dioceses. So these are the cardinal bishops. For them, their sees are in Rome, where they are the actual bishops of the suffragan dioceses. So these are the cardinal bishops, and they are the senior cardinals in the college of cardinals. The cardinal priest, these are cardinals who are bishops and they are having their sees outside Rome. So these cardinals are bishops and for them, their sees are outside Rome. They are the cardinal bishops. And for the cardinal deacons, yes, they are appointed as church officials within the Roman Curia. And they have a special honor where sometimes theologians who have contributed to church teaching are honored to become cardinal deacons. What are the symbols of cardinals? For so many centuries, people think that the color red is a color for cardinals. But the actual color that cardinals wear is scarlet. And the color scarlet reminds cardinals of their willingness to follow the church and even to die for the church by the point of even shedding their blood. Cardinals wear scarlet, not red. And in 1245, Pope Innocent IV bestowed the famous red hat 
unto the cardinals. So many people think that cardinals were red, but in actual fact, their color is scarlet. But this title, this ecclesiastical title of a cardinal comes with other new symbols. The zucchetto, the biereta, and the ring. For the zucchetto, it is the skull cape that the cardinals wear. And the bereta is also the hat, a silk hat that the cardinals wear. These two, the zucchetto and the bereta, are placed on the head of the cardinals by the Pope. And the ring that they wear symbolizes their dignity, their pastoral zeal, and their commission with the see of Peter. So cardinals have symbols. They wear the color scarlet, which shows that they are willing to follow the church. They are even willing to shed their blood for the church. And their biretta, their zucchetto, and even their ring are symbols of this new ecclesiastical title which is bestowed on a priest or a bishop. Are cardinals named after a bird? Sometimes people have the misconception that cardinals are named after a bird. There is a bird which is called a cardinal. And this bird was unknown to the Europeans until the 16th and the 17th century that Americans decided to discover this bird called a cardinal bird and this bird was called a cardinal bird because of the color red and the institution especially this ecclesiastical title of a cardinal was in the church since 1760 so you can know it is not true that cardinals are named after the birds but because people were saying cardinals and they have a misconception that they were red when they saw this bird they named the birds after the colors of the cardinals red and they called the birds cardinals so cardinals were not named after the birds but the birds were named after the cardinals because of the red feathers of the birds when they see the cardinals in their red they call them cardinals and the birds were also called cardinals. So it is a no that cardinals were named after the birds. Amen. What are the titles given to cardinals? Because a cardinal is an ecclesiastical title, there are a lot of titles given to cardinals. Eminence, his eminence, your eminence or lord cardinal so these are titles given to cardinals and when these titles are given to cardinals whenever you hear eminence his eminence your eminence or lord cardinal then you know that someone is referred to in the church as an official of the church so cardinals have these different titles eminence his eminence your eminence or lord cardinal ecclesiastical titles in the church comes with titles that people are identified with so cardinals are officials of the roman curia they serve the pope in his governance and they elect new popes in what is called a conclave. Cardinals have three types. The cardinal bishop, the cardinal priest, and the cardinal deacons. There is a symbol for cardinals. They wear the color scarlet, they have a zucchetto, they have a bireta, and they have a ring. And for the ring, it symbolizes their dignity, their pastoral zeal, and their commission with the see of Peter. So cardinals are the princes of the church. 
they are the officials of the church they are the pivots the counselors to the roman pontiff to the pope so whenever you see a priest or a bishop who is addressed eminence or his eminence or lord cardinal then know that the person is a cardinal thank you all for watching